video. TV. I'm Eddie here, back with another video. I'm doing Conor McGregor versus Khabib uh, recap. Yo, I, I, let me tell you, I watched the fight. The fight, it was a good fight, okay? Domination from Khabib on the ground, and, and he actually stood toe, toe to toe with him standing up, too. Like, stand up game was strong, and but the ground game was stronger. Connor could have tagged him, but Khabib took him to the ground, okay? So this is a recap of uh, UFC 229. I'm ready to hop straight into it. Let's see what happened and the recap. Aside, let's talk about the fight because it was incredible. It was an incredible performance by Khabib. He went out there, Connor had good takedown defense in the first round. Khabib took him down, used his legs to tie him over. He does that very well. But in the second round, it was Khabib. He got tagged. 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 He got Khabib just kept taking him down. He just kept taking him. See? Connor was trying to tag him with that left. You know? Connor was trying to get him. And y'all see that right there? That's not even around his full neck. That was around his chin. So dude was about to snap his jaw just right there. If he didn't tap... He was going to have his uh, jaw snapped. He couldn't be able to talk anymore. His, his jaw would have been here. His jaw would have been there, son. And the thing is, after he tapped, right, if you notice, Khabib held on for a couple more seconds longer. Watch. The fight was very close on the ground. Oh, they're showing pictures. Get the takedown, get the takedown, he did, took the fight, yanked his neck off, and still, new champ, well done Khabib, but you're a bloody idiot. And, and it's <laughs> you're a bloody idiot. One That's the thing we said that's great about the Eagle. He'll go one, two, three, four, ten in one round, he consistently stays stuck to you like Lou, and that's the difference maker. You have to be ready for a second and third attempt. When a wrestler is a great chain wrestler, you can't just do an old school sprawl, stuff the head and think it's over with. You got to be ready to continue. Get wrist control and also give a punishment. If someone takes a shot on your legs and you defend it, you need to be punched behind the head, leaning them to the body, shoving them, pushing them, letting them know, not up in there, do not go for these legs again. If you don't do that, there's no repercussion. It's not going to stop Khabib from going after the takedown again. As we said, though, once he yanked the neck, once he got the submission, that should have been enough for Khabib. But as we saw, and it was reminiscent to when Conor McGregor, was it Dennis Seaver, I think he beat, and he dived yeah. over the fence. He yelled at Jose. Jose Aldo. Aldo. Yes. Aldo. Kind of did the same thing to Dylan Dennis, but Dylan Dennis is loving the publicity right now. Wait, wait, yeah. Hey, UFC 229, man. That was a good fight. It was crazy, but what was crazy though? The fight before that too. The fight before that versus Ferguson and Petty. Oh my goodness. Ferguson is a total animal. I want to see him versus Khabib or, or fight Khabib. Or, or Connor. Well, Connor, yeah, we can see that too. But I want to see him go against Khabib because, you know, Ferguson, he, he's an animal. A straight, a straight extraterrestrial powered up animal. Uh... Crazy, but yeah, uh, Conor McGregor versus Khabib. It was it was pretty much domination on the ground. Conor McGregor got, you know, out outmatched on the ground. If it had been a stand up fight, I think Conor probably would have tagged him, you know, and got him. But like I said, Khabib stuck with his game. He took it to the ground like you do everybody else, and it was just destroying him. And so he got the W. Uh, kind of sucks what he did afterward. He had to run out of the ring and attack. Kind of dumb, you know, but on the hype of all this, you know, you're, you're out there in the octagon. You know, you just submitted the guy. 
you're feeling pumped up. And I, I, I'm pretty sure after all that, you know, energy, he just kind of conjured up during the fight and all that extra talk that his team been doing motivated him to jump outside the octagon and attack some people. Big brawl after the fight. I'm sure there was fights after, like, the actual, uh, like, the actual event, like, outside in parking lots. I'm sure there were people fighting. It got crazy, uh, but, of course, we're not going to see those fights anytime soon. Probably might see people posting online. I don't know. But, yeah, man, I'm, I'm expecting to, uh, hear about some outside fights that happened because I know they did. Uh, but yeah, this was a crazy event. Didn't expect Khabib to jump out the ring, but he did. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought about this video uh, down in the comments down below. Make sure you like it if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. It's free, I promise you. Till next time, Eddie at TV. Bam. Them no know your story, go. Them say the glory, them no know your story, go. Jenna, Jenna. Them no know your story, go. Them say the glory, them no know your story, go. With them. Them no know a man's sufferation You all say you and my brother true, you see the name brand Regis to your truth to them be your one We are far from lunch kit, the S grade one Where them know about zinc fence, borders, white rice, sardines